Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we now have a story about a Cambodian refugee who's now is 48 years old. He came to this country when he was one year old, but at this particular time, he has just been deported and sent back to Cambodia. Now, let's get into it. His last name is Yu. So I, throughout this video, I just call him Mr. Yu, but I'll put his name up on the screen with his photo. So Mr. Yu came here with his family at when he was one years old as they was trying to escape their country um, in fear of their life. And basically what happened was, uh, as a child, he joined a gang for protection in his neighborhood when he was living in Long Beach, California at the age of 13. Now, at the age of 20, he actually shot and killed a 17-year-old while retaliating against a gang attack on one of the younger members of his family. And of course, he was convicted of first-degree murder. You know, and he had a jury trial and they sentenced him to 35 years to life. So, you know, that's 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 a case there of his own because he did kill a 17 year old um, gang member as he was himself in retaliation. But the thing here is he actually received that sentence of 35 years to life but he only served 25 years. Now, when he was in prison, the San Quentin Prison Parole Board had pardoned him back in January. However, when he was released, instead of going home to his family, he was turned over to ICE, which is basically the uh, uh, ISIS, the immigration as, as stand police for say, um, even though they're not really police, but you know, a lot of times you see them wearing the police on the back of their uh, vest. Now, while in prison, the reason why he was paroled at an early date of only 25 years while in prison, he became one of the founding members of a justice program called Restoring Our Original True Selves. He also served as counselor with the Bay Area Women Against Rape. And he basically mentored other detainees from um, Asian countries that was who, who was refugees in that prison with him. Now, for months, uh, there have been people urging for governor Gavin Newsom to give him a pardon because if he's given a pardon, then he would be able to stay in the United States. But of course, Gavin, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom did not uh, give him a pardon, so he was turned over, of course, to ICE. He now still holds a lot of hope because even though he has been deported, back to a country that he left at the age of one, there's a lot of support groups for him that's wishing and hoping and kind of patiently waiting for the governor still to give him a pardon because then he would be able to come back to United States. Let's remember now he's 48 years old. But in my opinion, once ICE, you know, the Immigration and Custom Enforcement went ahead and processed him and deported him and him, he having that felony record, I don't think Mr. Yu will be coming back into this country legally, that is. So t tell me what you think about this. It's one of those head scratchers that you know, he came over to the country at one years old. He's now 48. Yes, he did spend 25 years in prison. Uh, he was given a 35 to life sentence, but the parole board, 
you know, they, 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 they put him out on an early release and said that basically they felt he was able to get back into society. You know, um, seems like he had a pretty hard early teenage years from the age of 13 to 20. And, you know, seems like he doesn't know that other country and have no family members over there. But should he be allowed to come back to America? Do you think that the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, should go ahead and get him a pardon so he can come back? Or should we just keep a whole tough line, you know, draw the sand in the dirt and say, hey, no, you committed a crime. Stay out. Just just let me know what you think in the comments below. That would be highly appreciated. And until next time, stay positive.